I'm glad we could meet up today after club activities, but I didn't think you'd be done with your things so early. Since when do you ever get out on time? Let alone early. I figured we weren't going to meet up for another hour or so. I'm surprised that you had free time at all today, actually. I expected you'd be busy afterwards. Not that that's a bad thing. It's great. Oh, uh, you want to know where Kuro is? He's still finishing... something. Something with the coach at the gym. Wait, where are you going? We're going to see Kuro? No, it'll probably take some time. We should just wait until he calls us when he's ready. Or he'll just come get us. We could just... Uh, I don't know. Walk around campus or something? Ah, uh, fine. I'm following. I just wish you wouldn't be so stubborn about things once you set your mind to them. Uh, hiding something? Why would I be hiding something? Just because I didn't want us to find Kuro? No. That's not it. It's not like he's hiding anything either. I, uh... What if I just wanted to spend some time alone with you? Is that so bad? Fine. You would have believed that line coming from Kuro. I can be romantic sometimes too, you know. But I was hiding something. However, it was for your benefit. You know the point of a surprise is to, you know, be surprised? If I tell you, then it won't be nearly as much fun. But if you insist on finding him, he is actually at the gym. I'm not telling you what's going on. Nope, you can't get it out of me. Those sweet eyes of yours won't make me crack. You can't be so curious that you're dragging us there. It's not like he's just going to disappear before you even open the door. Wait, wait! L let me go first. Hey, Yaku, is that you? Did you find Lev? Hmm. I could really use another tall guy to help me out here. We need to get the banner up quickly. We're running out of time. I have no idea what's taking the rest of the guys so long. No one has been answering my text messages. And I'm not sure where Kitty 1 and Kitty 2 are at. Uh... <clears throat> Kenma? What are you... Oh, damn it. What are you doing here? Uh, go oh, close your eyes. No, turn around. Oh, stop looking at everything. I thought I told you to. I tried. 
But none of the guys are back yet. Ah, oh, fine. Do it without them. <sighs> hey, doll. Happy birthday! Kenma? Right. Happy birthday. <sighs> well, I was about to throw a surprise party, but it seems Kenma was the wrong person to send to delay you. I told you it wasn't going to work, even if they didn't get out early. Where is everyone anyways? I thought you had this all figured out. Well, I sent Lev to go get the streamers and the party poppers we hid in the club room, but he was taking too long. So I sent Yaku to go find him. That was over 20 minutes ago, now that I think about it. They better not have blown up the club room. Then, Kai's supposed to be picking up the cake that his mother made. That's just around the corner once you leave campus, so he should be back any second. And Inuoka's getting his balloons right now. He said he's pretty fast on his bike, so we should be seeing him soon too. I'm still waiting for Yuki to bring his Bluetooth speaker so we can play music. But part of me thinks he had to run all the way home for it too. I knew I should have brought mine instead. Well, you're already here. And I'd hate to have you set up your own surprise party. Just sit wherever you want. We'll handle the rest. Kemma, come on. Just help me out with this. Yaku wasn't tall enough, even with the chair. But you should be able to reach. Yeah, yeah, all right. So, you know, doll, you don't look all that surprised by this. Were you expecting this or something? Yeah, I was sort of expecting the whole, oh my gosh, you shouldn't have coming from you. What do you mean you already knew about it? I made everyone take a vow of secrecy. Ugh, it was Lev, wasn't it? He's definitely absent-minded enough to let it slip. No, oh, then who? Yaku? Kai? Us? Since when could it have been us? There's no way. We haven't talked about it around you at all. I made sure that we only ever planned it when it was just the two of us, or only during volleyball practice. Or in the group chat. Oh no. It was when we first started planning it, wasn't it? When we had that sleepover together. Ah, I see that smile. I'm right, aren't I? I thought for sure you were out cold after the movie. I thought the coast was clear. You are snoring. There's no way you were awake while we first started planning. You are faking it? Talk about a good deception check. That means you knew everything was going to happen? You should have just told us! We wouldn't have gone through the trouble of keeping all these secrets then. It would have been nice to get your input on some of this stuff. But we did think we picked out the right cake. And bought you a gift too. You know what? As punishment for not telling us that you already knew, you should help us finish putting together your party. I don't think that's how this works, Kuro. <laughs> well, it does now. Some birthday surprise this turned out to be, huh? Here, doll. You can set up the snacks table however you want. I'll start worrying about the others soon, but for now, I guess this works. And I did mean to get some alone time with you today. 
You're blushing because he said it, but not by me earlier? <sighs> yeah, I suppose he's more suited to that kind of role than I am. Oh, thank goodness. Sound like they're just about here. Try to act surprised, and maybe you can fool them, okay? Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! I hope you had a good one this year. Help us defeat the algorithm gods by liking and subscribing. If you want some of that sweet and spice, then head to patreon.com slash commissions for that content. And if you want something custom for you, then go to anagomi.com slash commissions, and you'll be well taken care of. Bye, Bye for, for now. now.